Hey IQers, Jonathan Levinson here with your daily Excel tip. So in this video, we're going to talk about the if statement as well as VLOOKUP and the new XLOOKUP uh, not using an exact match. Uh, this comes up quite often, so I wanted to kind of share this information with you. So the first thing is let's talk about the if statement. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I've already uh, figured out the formulas here, but this is just showing an example of paying out a different percentage based on various sales amounts. So if we start breaking this out, if we start with an if, you know, our first thing is our logical test. So we want to look at B2. We're saying if that's less than a thousand, then go ahead and pay 0.05 or 5%. Um, our next thing is false. So if that's not true, we're nesting another if. And then we're saying B2 is greater, less than or equal to 3,000, pay seven. And then we move on to the next if. And we have an end in here where we're nesting within the if, uh, where we're saying B2 needs to be greater than 3,000 and B2 needs to be less than 5,000, go ahead and pay that 9%. If that's not found, pay it out at 10%. So that's just a good way of kind of hard coding that information. And then you can see it comes up with the appropriate values. Um, let's talk about that VLOOKUP. So we have our lookup table here. We have a from and a to, and then the different payout percentages. So what we did here, if you look at this, we're looking up B2, right? We want to look up our sales. Our next thing is our table array. So where do we want to see that? Well, that's in lookup data. And we're going to be A, B, and C. And what we want to do is we want to return the third column here. And this is the one that everyone, we always use false, right? We're looking for an exact match. In this case, we want to put it true. And what true is going to do is look up this data and look at your numbers in between these various uh, dollar amounts. And then as we stated, we want to pay out these percentages. So you can see a very cool way of, of having your own lookup data. Um, very similar with the X up, uh, sorry, X lookup. Uh, again, we want to look up B2. Uh, we want to, our table array is in the lookup data on columns A, right? We want to look up these values. Um, we would like to return C, which is the payout percentages. And then what you'll notice is I have two commas after this. One is the if not found. Well, I don't, it's going to, everything's going to be found. So I'm not concerned about that. But when we hit another comma, we get to the match mode. So when you get to the match mode, you get these options. And what we want to look at is a negative one, which is an exact match or the next smaller item. So once we apply that match mode, that's where we're going to get the appropriate values. So you can see, depending on your situation, you have various options on doing these types of lookups or applying specific values uh, within your worksheets. Uh, that's it for me. Peace out. And uh, we'll uh, chat tomorrow.